Hey guys, today we're going to be restringing a vintage Kramer Pacer guitar with an original Floyd Rose tremolo. Let's get started. Some of the tools that we're going to need, we're going to need a string winder, wire cutters, three millimeter Allen wrench, possibly some cleaning cloths to wipe all the dust off the guitar once we get the strings off, and obviously a set of strings. Now another tool I use is the Trem Block by Shredneck, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. All right, so on this guitar, because these old Kramers did not have a recessed tremolo cavity, we've got a flat surface on the top of the guitar, which makes it perfect for the trem block. So we're gonna insert that under the tremolo just to block the Floyd Rose off. Next, we're going to loosen and remove the three locking nut clamps. And just when you take these off, set them in a safe location so you don't lose them. Now would be a great time to go ahead and smash that like button for me if you're finding value in this video. Next, we can loosen our strings with our string winder. And you might notice that my strings look like they're backwards. I've got the end ball, which usually goes at the bridge end. I've got those in at the tuning head. And I will explain how and why I use that technique. I like to line the holes up in line with the neck so it makes it easy to get the strings in and out. Not necessary, it's just one of my OCDs. Next, we're gonna take our three millimeter Allen wrench and we're going to loosen the bolts that hold the strings into the tremolo. And then you can pull the strings out. Next, we'll feed the string through the tuning post to remove them completely. Just be careful not to scratch your peg head up with the end of the string. And now's a good time to take a cleaning cloth and wipe off any dust or do any cleaning you like to do in those spots where the strings are normally covering those areas and dust can accumulate. I like to restring going backwards on Floyd Rose guitars because then you've only got one cut to make at the other end where the bridge, where the string goes into the bridge. So once I get a string through, you figure about maybe an inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch past the fine tuner is about the proper amount of string that you'll need to wrap around the tuning post when we go to wind them up. Sometimes as you're winding the string though, especially on these bass strings, the string might get caught on the end ball. So just push it down underneath the ball and keep winding. And then I keep tension on the string, both with my uh, middle and ring finger at this end, keep good tension on it. And then I keep tension on it as it's winding around the post to make sure I get a good downward spiral. Next, we'll do the fifth string. And to get it up underneath this little string tree clamp, I'll put a little bend on the end of the string, feed it underneath, and it'll go right up over the nut. We'll come back down to this end, about an inch past the fine tuner, put it in the, the saddle, and clamp it down. And then we wind it up. Push it under the end ball and it'll spiral downward perfectly every time. Moving on to our fourth and third strings. 
a little bend in it. Trim it off. Feed it in to the clamp. Sometimes on these old guitars, the block that sits inside the saddle gets kind of wedged in there. So you might have to pry it a little bit with like a small flathead screwdriver. It's no big deal. Now you want to make sure you give your strings a good stretch by pulling up, kind of tugging on them a little bit. That helps them to seat around the post, tightens up the wrap around each post, kind of pre-stretches them a little bit. That way the guitar goes out of tune a little less once you get it tuned up and start playing it. And then you can add your locking nut clamps back on. Tune it up and play it. It's really that easy. So as you can see, it's not difficult to restring your own Floyd Rose guitar. With a little bit of practice, you can knock one of these out in about 10 minutes. And it's only really three tools that you need. You just need the Allen wrench, wire cutters, string winder, maybe that trum block too. Sometimes I'll just use a cleaning cloth and stuff it underneath the bridge so the bridge stays in one place. If you have any questions, drop those down below. And also just let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll be glad to answer any of those questions you might have. Don't forget to subscribe to Joseph Hansen Guitar Studio. Turn on those bell notifications so you see when a new video comes out. And also check out some other videos from the playlist right here. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Keep rocking on.